me, I'm right where I wanna be with the V on my Bentley. Checks on my Air Max. Haters, I fall back. Fall for some of your ball cap. That's my chick. I got a back like. Hey guys, what up? What's going on? Assalamualaikum. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope your Ramadans are going great. So today I'm here to react to a story. Uh, the name of the video title is "The Love of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam," and I'm gonna react to it for you guys. But if you like this, uh, let me know. I will do a part two on this story. So yeah, let's go. It was a community united in the love of the Messenger of God. It was a community that spent every day, every hour that they could, with our Prophet Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam as he transformed their budu. And you can imagine if you put yourself in this world of Al Madina Al Munawwara. And you live day in and day out with the Messenger of God, sallallahu taala alaihi wa ala ali, and you took this spiritual journey of your heart with Him, alaihi wa ala ali salam, and you had the blessing of seeing Him every day, sallallahu taala alaihi wa ala ali. You can now imagine the difficulties that started to befall this community during the last year of His life, sallallahu taala alaihi wa ala ali. I love how they are telling story with uh, the people are dressing like you know back in the days when Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was alive. I mean, I feel like I'm like back in those days watching this story, man. Seriously, I love how they like dress up like that. It was the habit of our messenger that he would go into spiritual seclusion for ten days. In this Ramadan, he went in for twenty. Jibril alayhi salam every Ramadan would come to him and review, re, review the Quran. In this Ramadan, he reviewed with it. He reviewed it with him twice. Our messenger alayhi wa alayhi salam he started to see a sign. He knew something was happening. A few months later, in the Hajj, what was known as Hajjatul Wada, later the farewell Hajj. Oh my God! Look at the Kana Kaaba. They're building Kana Kaaba. Wow, man! I mean, I see uh, some YouTube videos previously like this, where they're telling other stories like this. Pretty sure that's how they built Kana Kaaba, man. Look at the beautiful people are going there right now for Umrah. The people are circling around the Kana Kaaba, man. It's beautiful. I just want to go back in the time and see the stories like this, man. ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا. If the nasr of the victory of Allah comes in the opening and you see people coming into Islam in large groups. Yes, they are. In the narration of Imam Ahmad, the Prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله, he turns to Sayyidina Jibreel and he says, "O oh Jibreel, it seems I've just been given the notice of my death." Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam, Allah, he says to him, وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى He says to him, what Allah has in store for you in the Akhirah is greater than this world. Yes. And he returns, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi to the companions in that hajj. And he says to them, listen to what I'm about to tell you. Because I don't know if I'll be with you next year. Now imagine you're a companion of the Prophet. Even myself, just hearing these words. Yeah, deep, bro. So heavy. Very deep and heavy. Sharing these words so heavy. And imagine you're a companion. Lived with him. Saw him. Smelled his beautiful fragrance. Touched his hand. Dealt with the man who completely changed your heart, and you start to see that 
signs that he salawat ta'ala alayhi wa ala ala may not be with you soon. And he returns to al Madina al munawwara And shortly thereafter, he salawat ta'ala alayhi wa ala ala starts to fall ill. An extreme fever befalls him. Extreme headache that was worse than what ten men could bear. And one day he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi he stands on the minbar knowing what's happening. And he tells the companions Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a choice to a servant. That he can stay in this world and enjoy all the good of an everlasting life. Or he can return to him. He chose to return to him. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu Allah hearing these words he starts to cry. And he says, O Messenger of God, may our parents be a ransom to you. May my mother and my father be a ransom to you. Uh -huh. And the Sahaba were confused. They said, the Messenger of God is talking about a man who Allah gave a choice to, and he chose the better thing. Why is this old man, Abu Bakr, crying? Their qulub, their hearts, didn't see with the softness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Sayyidina Abu Bakr. And the days would pass, he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala ala would lead them in prayer. Going up to them each day until one day he was unable. Three times he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala ala got up to go out in salah and every time he fell. Wow. Until he ordered Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq to lead them. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr Radiallahu anhu arda leads them in salah for about 17 prayers. And during this time, he, alayhi wa ala alayhi salam, he comes out to stand on the minbar one day. And look at his humility. You want to talk about humility? He stands on the minbar with everyone around him. The perfected creation of Allah. The most humble creation of Allah the most exalted creation of Allah. In a state of humility, he says, if there's any one of you that I've harmed, if there's any one of you that I was unjust to, here I am. Take retribution from me. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala 
and say, Anna says we didn't see him after that day. Uh oh. The last vision that the Messenger of God, sallallahu ta'ala, alayhi wa ala alihi of his ummah, with their diversity, was standing in salah, praying. He smiled with his beautiful face. Mashallah. Can you imagine that scene? What I would give to see him smile on any day. Let alone that smile. He was smiling at an ummah that he knew was diverse in race. At an ummah that he knew was diverse in gender. At an ummah that he knew was diverse in thought. At an ummah that he knew was diverse in many personalities. He embraced that. Wow. Imagine. And he was smiling at them. We have to reorient our qulub, my brothers and sisters, to that smile of the Messenger of God. We have to open our hearts to what he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi lived and died for. Our Prophet was humble. Yes, very. Our Prophet was beautiful. Yes. Our Prophet alayhi wa alayhi salam was graceful. Yes. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens our qulub to his qualities. Inshallah. I hope pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens our hearts to the smile of the Messenger of God, Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes us to embrace each other through our diversity, through the last smile of the Prophet of God sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa jama'i wa sallam wa ala alayhi. Man, this story was pretty amazing. I swear, I mean, every time I hear stories about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or any other Prophet, it make me all like happy, joyful to hear a story like this, man. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. Very, very beautiful story. I love it. If you guys like my reaction or this uh, type of video, let me know, comment down below if you want to see part two. Like. I want to see 100 plus likes and comment down below if you want to see part two so i will do it for you guys for sure inshallah i mean so yeah that's pretty much it guys don't forget to like my channel don't forget to like my video share my video and subscribe my channel guys don't forget to hit that bell icon and get notified every time i upload a video for you guys so yeah that's about it guys have a wonderful wonderful ramadan the rest of ramadan i'll see you guys in the next video um peace yeah. Let me catch my breath Talk about leaving and you ain't gone yet And if you leave, leave correct And I'ma send a jet to pick up the next